I am going to be doing a Let's Play for NASCAR The Game 2011, so here we go. I'm not going to be really narrating this, so yeah. So here we go. I set it up so then it would be ready by the time that I got here. I will be changing the paint scheme because I do not like that. It's just plain. Huh. Okay. like that's the only stuff. Let me see what this is. Oh. Okay. Let's see what the other black car is. Nike. I'll be using that probably. Okay, so. No, uh, never mind. It's not as professional, sadly. So I will use the NASCAR.com NASCAR Superstore number 53 Chevrolet Impala. Go ahead and begin our career. career mode. This is where it all begins, the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. Okay, let's go over a few things before you race. Tracking is a big part of NASCAR racing, especially at the Super Speedway. You can use... Skipping the tutorial, I don't really need that, so, yeah. We'll be going to the Daytona International Speedway and... We'll be racing the Daytona 500. It's going to be a little shorter race. It's only going to be 20 laps. Uh, cosmetic caution flags, yes. It's going to be on medium. I'm, like, I'm not the best, and I don't really like to qualify for races. So, I'll just do medium and... I will qualify for Daytona and Talladega races, but that's the only time you'll see me qualifying. Like, at Daytona, I haven't really ever done the best. I've gotten one top ten finish, as you can see. But the, like, I just haven't ever been able to do that good here. But I beat my rival both times, so, yeah. Talladega's probably just as bad. It's probably actually a little better because I learned from my mistakes when I started my last career. But I restarted it, as you could see, so then I can do this Let's Play. 
So here goes qualifying. I like to use the draft from the wall. People call it side draft and it actually gets your car to go faster, so... Yeah. Oh boy. Can't be doing that in the race. And I did it again. I have to beat Jeff Gordon's time of 51.10 seconds. That should be kind of easy. I've gotten a 46 second lap here. But it doesn't look like I'll be getting 46 seconds this lap. Actually, it's probably going to be 48 or 49. I so called that. <laughs> 49.42 seconds. I don't exactly have to try for this lap because if I beat the qualifying time that they post, it usually means I'll be on the pole, so. And when I'm on the pole at any track, you're not going to beat me unless I get wrecked by one of the other computer-generated drivers. So far, it's looking like I'll be having a faster lap this lap going to be by like 35 tenths so let's go to the race This is a legendary race, so hopefully I can pull it off as a rookie. Trevor Brain did that, as you saw. And, like, it, I don't think any, like, there might have been two or three other rookies that have won the Daytona 500. But I don't really know of them, other than Trevor Bain. There's one thing I don't like about this game. I like I would love to create a car, but like they don't really give you anything but um like the decals to create the car. You have to create the whole thing yourself. It starts just with a plain gray car which is pretty stupid. It doesn't even give you any stickers to start with, like headlights and taillights and all the grill stuff. See, all that stuff on the front. They don't give you all of that. They, they make you try to create it. And it makes me mad because that is just stupid. 
So I use these cars that they gave you. And yeah. NASCAR.com is the only one I have unlocked right now. On a different profile, I have, um, like, all of them unlocked, but one on, and Jeff Gordon just took the lead. Let's wreck him. Oh, yes. Oh, no, I just got spun out. Caution is out. The big one at Daytona. Oh man, we're getting piled on now. Looks like the pack slowed down, but then there were some that didn't see the crash or something like that, and they just zoomed right in. Dang. The car is all torn up now. It was beautiful, now it's not. And I'm not in first place. I'll get that back. There's 20 laps. And we've used approximately... It's actually four laps. It'll be five at the, once we pass the line this upcoming time. But it says this is the fifth lap. So, yeah. I haven't exactly ever understood why they have it like that. It should be lap four all the way until you get to the line, then they say lap 5, not lap 5 until you get to the line, even though it's only f lap 4. It's confusing, I know. Um, no, Greg, before you're gonna wreck me, and you almost did. Oh, now you want to 